Daphne Lim, dermatologist. So you'd like to know more about tretinoin and how it can help your pigmentation. So let's take a step back. Tretinoin is a vitamin A analog and falls into the class of medically prescribed retinoids. So retinoids are powerful vitamin A prescriptions that can be used as a tablet or can be used as a cream formulation. Tretinoin is known as a first generation retinoid and is traditionally used for anti-aging. But how good is it when it comes to treating pigment? So how it works when it comes to treating pigment is as follows. Number one, it can act as a chemical exfoliator, thereby increasing your cellular turnover. In other words, the cells which start from the bottom of your skin, which is your epidermal layer, basement membrane layer, or basal layer, and over time, your cells mature, and that usually takes between 28 to 35 days. As one ages, that process gets slower and slower, where your turnover may even take up to 40 days. So what tretinoin does is that it can speed up that cellular turnover. When it speeds up the cellular turnover, it basically exfoliates your skin and can reduce pigment because most of the pigment, not all the time, but most of your pigments within the epidermal layer of skin. So first of all, it's a chemical exfoliator improving cellular turnover. The second is that it can be a weak inhibitor of your enzyme which produces pigment. Now, as compared with other pigment inhibitors, which I'll talk about shortly, the relative action of tretinoin is weak. Now, the third way it can help with melasma and pigment is to strengthen the dermal layer of skin. With melasma especially, there are what's known as senescent fibroblasts. In other words, the fibroblasts are the collagen-producing cells in your skin get tired and age with time. And what tretinoin does is that it can boost this up. And that's why it's used a lot in anti-aging. In other words, to stimulate your fibroblasts, to remodel skin, reduce photo damage, but also wrinkles, fine lines, as well as pores. So that's on the side note. Now, in the context of pigment, when we renew these cells called fibroblasts, they basically secrete a different mechanism of what's known as cytokines. In other words, the cytokine profile changes. The cytokines then stimulate your pigment cells known as melanocytes. So it's a complex, I guess, um, cascade of which the fibroblast plays a key role. Other cells that play a key role include mast cells, endothelial cells, and keratinocytes, but more on that in another video. So in this context, it can remodel skin. So your dermatologist may start you on tretinoin. In my practice, I normally start that in the second round. In other words, we start you on more effective pigment inhibitors, things like your l ascorbic acid, your arbutins, your azalic acid, your cystamine, your hydroquinone. So these are more mainstream but more powerful pigment correctors. And once you can tolerate those, we add things like tretinoin. Certainly, you can buy a compounded formulation, something called Triluma, which also has your vitamin A, in other words, your tretinoin, also has your hydroquinone, but to counteract the irritant effects of this particular mix, they often chuck in the corticosteroid. Not my favorite preparation, but more on that later.